The Night Shift is a real play D&D video and podcast series for mature audiences. Content warnings can be found in the episode descriptions. Last time on The Night Shift. Did you know that Davik was going to the Cornelian Islands? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, of course. Obviously. Mm. Yes. Make an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. That you kind of just dropped that. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Seems like he probably knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Souls already sold. So if you're trapped under a spell, I wish you well. And if a creature roams your streets, you do better to retreat. Cause if you want it done right, don't hide the night shift. You guys round up on the deck. Tentacles, uh, sort of uh, towering over the ship. I mean, this thing. Is appears to be very, very large. Um, mm. One tentacle already wrapped around the stern, the back Ooh. of the ship, and pulling downward. So as you're standing there, the deck starts to tilt. Uh. Everybody make an athletics or acrobatics check to start. Uh -huh. So we heat up, boys. Is that your dice? Who's dice? Or is that... Oh, that's mine. Uh, I was like... Oh, shit. I just lost it. Oh, yeah. Athletics or acrobatics? Let's say either. Either one. Okay. Just tell me which so I can figure out. Nat 20, baby. Let's hey. go. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's start with Atilius then. Actually, let's go to Atilius last in case somebody else has a, has hmm. a fungled thing. Let me start. 13. Yeah. Okay, never mind. 13. Sorry. Which one did you roll? Uh, acrobatics. All right. So, 13. The the stern gets pulled down into the water, and, and I think what you can see is like, it's not like the back of it's in the water yet or anything, but you can see directly down and see where the water meets the ship, which is not usually a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you try to steady yourself. Instead, you end up kind of on your uh, on your on your butt on your on your hamstring, if you will, uh -huh. um, sliding <laughs> down the ship. <laughs> 14. Okay. 14. Athletics or acrobatics? acrobatics. Let's say, uh, let's say Tom, given his very proclivities. Very disheveled and I'm, yes, very strung out at this yeah, point. Given his proclivities, he, uh, he's, he loves acrobatics, loves doing flips. Do. And, and wants to pull off a flip. Big true. And forgets for a moment that he has been doing opium for four days. <laughs> <laughs> he has been on a bender. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what you attempt to do is mm -hmm. when the ship gets unleveled, you attempt to jump, do a flip, and land with your feet on the mast. Okay. Hell yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And what happens instead is you, you pull off, I would call it 80% of that. Your heels hit the mast, slip, and your back oh. hits that pole, oh. and then you start oh. rolling down the, ah. the deck. Mm. Let's uh, roll one die four in damage. Ooh. Already. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I went for it. It would have been tight. Two. Two damage. Two damage. I mean, land on the mast? It's a round object. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> that's a round yeah, it's object. It's tough. I mean, it's, it's a, tough, tough to tough land landing. on. Yeah. 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 You had a, you had a no high challenge surface. score on that. Oh, hard to stick that one sober. In a gymnastics competition, you would have had a high ceiling on that yeah. score. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I rolled a 12 for athletics. 12 for athletics. So I think for your part, you know you're not going to acrobatic your way out of this one. You're not trying to keep your balance. You immediately start looking for something to grab onto. You grab a rope, and it just isn't connected to anything. So you just start sliding down the deck while holding onto this rope. Mm. You're going to attempt to sort of hold yourself in place, and instead it's just, as far as you can tell, not connected. So you're just going down the deck. Atilius, on the other hand, with a natural 20. Atilius... <laughs> I'm about to fuck some shit up. I'm not. I don't want to say. I don't want to say you He's can do. He's been meditating. I, yes. Yeah. I don't want to say you can do anything here. But He's like, so zen right what do now. you want? I am. Tell me what you want to do, and we'll figure out what's fair. I can attack right now. Like I can just. I can do whatever. Or what is just as like. 
I'm setting myself up, I'm putting myself in a position to attack. Yeah, let me give you some options. So okay. I, I don't. I think you could attack. Attack. Let's say probably not in, in a direct way. Like I'm not sure you could pull a weapon, make your way all the way to the kraken, and attack it. Um, but you could use like you could direct a crate to fall into its mouth or something like that. Um, you could also help a friend with that twenty um, and kind of keep them from sliding. Uh, or you could like very firmly secure yourself so that you don't have to make checks in the future. So like the example there would be you could grab a rope, tie it around your waist, secure it on the other end, and then you're not going to have to make this sort of check in the future. Is there a crow's nest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely there uh, uh, is. Uh, so, I can't wait to see where this goes. Yes. So I, I, I spring forward to the side of the ship that has the tentacle wrapped on it as being pulled down, and I notice there's a crow's nest, so I kind of leap forward onto the mast that the crow's, de- crow's nest is on and sprint upward, yeah. do like a Spider-Man barrel flip into the crow's nest and position myself ready for battle. Love that. Um, let's say it's a crow's nest, so they, they usually have like a harness or something up there because mm-hmm. you don't want somebody to fall from a crow's nest, um, and it's the most delicate position on the ship. So you're able to kind of put that thing on super quickly. Um, yes. And, and so now you are not only in the highest point and, and have a good vantage point, you're also firmly secure in this crow's nest. Sweet. Yeah, you're also yeah, yeah. 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 The only thing to keep in mind is like you're getting slung yeah. left to right or, or back to forward pretty hard, um, which will unstable you a little bit. Okay. Let's all roll initiative. Dun, yeah. Ta-da. Let's fucking fight a fucking Kraken. Kraken is a 24. Kraken is a 24. Atilius, are you using the snail flail? What does that do again? So the snail flail, Big which you just damage. got, um, is a melee weapon, which wouldn't be much use from where you're at, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it, it makes you go last in initiative order, but you get a plus two to any attack, which means uh, when you roll a die 20 to hit, you get plus two to that, and when you roll to damage, you get a plus two to that. Even on, with top that, of even on his magic? Uh, no, because, it's, because right. it's a melee weapon. Yeah. Uh, so a ro- so probably not would be the my ass- um, assumption. So, so I rode uh twelve, well fourteen and minus two, so twelve. Yeah, One uh, initiative. Okay. Yeah. What's everybody else at? Six. Uh, twenty modified. Twenty natural. Oh, there we go. Um. All right. Sorry. Yeah, twenty natural for uh for Timbo. Timbo's initiative. Six for Kestrel. Modified twelve for me. Modified twelve for Atilius the Haunted. Modified twenty. And a modified twenty, uh, for Tom Bombo. All right, so Kestrel's was a six. Mm. Atilius's was a twelve. The other two were on twenties, but uh, Timbo's is a natural. And what'd you roll? 24. But Damn. that means Timbo goes first because Timbo had a natural 20. Fast acting the Kraken. <laughs> Fast acting the <to> Kraken. <laughs> God, what a reference. <laughs> Old John Boom. Madden commercial. <laughs> Fast yeah. acting. Another text about here. Tough acting to Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, but he rolled so high in the initial. Timbo. Fast acting. You're yeah, on my... your back, sliding down this deck, holding on to a rope. What do we want to do? Uh, so I'm on my back sliding? Uh, let's say you're sliding. You, there you, you can go. choose whether you're on your back or your stomach or whatever else, but you're holding onto a rope, so. Well, I'll go on my back if I'm not, if I'm not on my feet. Uh, but I, I'm sliding towards the tentacle, though, right? Yeah, so think like, of it as, like, the whole back of the ship is tilting, and there's a tentacle pulling that down. Mm-hmm, that I'm sliding towards. Correct. Yeah, so I just want to keep sliding He's towards He's like, that's it. where I want to be going. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I want, I want to keep, uh, I want to build momentum up sliding towards it and uh, and impale it with a sword. Uh, but w- while sliding, I, w- I, want to, I want to rip my shirt open yes. and reveal my crocodile teeth necklace <sighs> and enter a rage. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mighty. I'm on fighting on a ship. Um, I'm gonna go to a sea rage. It's all, it's all, it's all nips and ships. All right, got That's it. it. 
Nibs. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. And I, I take out uh, take out Mistweaver and uh, and I I just want to impale uh, the tentacle when, okay, so when I slide down to this it. thing. At any point, do you like try and right yourself and jump, or are you just sliding down till you get to the tentacle and slashing? Um, how fast am I sliding? I mean, is it a pretty brisk slide? Uh, yeah. I mean, I probably hard to hard for us to vocalize, but yeah, yeah. Let's say it's like it feels a little out of control. Okay, then uh, like pre- pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, I, I so I'd. I would want to try to stabilize myself, uh, get my feet planted on something, and and then like use that to sp- to kind of springboard into the tentacle. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, I don't think we're even going to do a check on that. You've already done a check and and gotten a natural twenty. So in my opinion, you just do that. At some point, you just kind of like hit a secure crate or something, and that lets you like catch your feet, and then you run and jump to stab. So roll to hit. Roll is a 19 plus oh. six on the Mist Weaver is a 25. That'll hit. No. Barbarian. Um, okay. So that's uh, that was a the two-handed sword attack there as well. So that'll be a D10 plus five, eight. Uh, and I'm raging, so it's actually plus seven. So 15? 15 damage. 15 points of damage. And that's slashing? That is slashing damage. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. All right. So you hack and slash at this tentacle. I think you've cut. How are you light. standing? Are you standing on the tentacle? Uh, that was kind deck? of lunging into the tentacle. Yeah. So I think he's, yeah. he's like. Up kind of to the hilt, the yeah, kind of up to the hilt on that tentacle and standing on it. Yeah, sort so of, like that would stop. Like my my word, momentum would be all, like stopping on the tentacle as yeah. I'm. Slashing. I feel like suckers. I've used the word undulating before, but mm-hmm. that's what's happening. It's undulating beneath them. Do Kraken have suckers? Uh Kraken like do have suckers, as far as I'm aware. Let's say yes, this one does. Do they squirt oil? It's a great question, and one that you might find out at some mm. in this fight. Uh. Mm. Definite possibility. Who's next? Natural 20 or no, the Kraken. Well, yeah. So I, I, I was modified. So. You're right. The Kraken. Okay. So what's going to happen is uh, one of these tentacles is going to rise up in the air. It, and I think probably Timbo has the best view of this. Um, a tentacle, uh, one that has not already wrapped its way around the ship, appears out of the water and just climbs and climbs and climbs into the air. And then falls across the boat. Oh. Heavy. Um, so, huge. what's going to happen huge. is I think really the two of you, Kestrel and Tom Bombo, are the ones that are kind of beneath it. Um, wow, it hits hard. All right. Um, and I think as you look around, you can see there's like maybe eight or nine visible tentacles right now, most of which are just kind of in the air or slicing through the water. One around the boat, one that just fell on top of the boat. Got it? Crikey. What the fuck is this thing's head? All right. Under the ship. So uh, halflings have the lucky trait. Uh-huh. And so I think that like I'm just the perfect size to hide within a sucker <laughs> as it comes down. So it makes like a little air bubble over me and I don't get hurt at all. Think about it. <laughs> Just uh, think about yeah. it. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna think about it, and then I'm gonna roll. Oh, shocks. Um, both of them hit. Ah, uh, fuck, <laughs> crikey! I mean, 14 points of damage to the both of us. To the both of you. Ouch. Ooh, Tom, that takes you down. I'm done because I took the two pounds of damage for <laughs> <laughs> tripping uh, and my hair went out of state. Or I my forgot OPM, about that. <laughs> All right, state. Tom's unconscious. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I'm just fucking falling. Wow. <laughs> Lifeless bodies all over the boat. 
Oh no. Okay. Um, Tom, I think you just get pinned under this thing as it falls. So you're not <laughs> falling anymore. Um, you're just stuck underneath this tentacle. I'm stuck on one of the stuckers? Sure. Why not? You're stuck on a sucker? Fuck. <laughs> sure. All right. Um, and Kestrel, you're not, but it, it waylays you is the way to think of it. Okay. It hits your heart. Yeah. Damn. Who is next? Is that me? Yeah. Would have been Tom. It's Tom. <laughs> Tom, make a death save. Yeah, let's do it. I said 12. Let's go. All, all right. All right. Okay. Something good happening. It's a save. Uh, um, we're going to stick Lucius right here in the order. And oh, my God. He's playing. Lucius on the top deck has arranged a bunch of the pirates Thank God. who have crossbows, and they all let loose into the um, the tentacle that is just landed in Crush the middle me. of the boat. Um, we're gonna say He's trying to save one of his best customers. We're gonna say ten percent of the bolts miss, which means ninety percent of them hit. Nice. 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 Um, none of them hit either of you, which is even better. Um, and I think this, this tentacle sort of like shrinks back a little bit, stops trying to sink the boat and, and shrinks back. So Tom, uh, I think you're back to sliding down the again. deck at this point. Um, this time unconscious. So I'm just like, but this time unconscious. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Uh, is there a, a, a damaged number that those bolts, uh, deal or right? Yeah. Great question. Yeah. Let's do Let's do forty points of damage. Ooh. Nice. What's Pin doing? Must be a lot of them. Oh, Pin's in the bottom deck. He's sick. Mm. And Bill? Man, what a racket. Yeah, Bill's well. Where's Bill? <sighs> Bill's with Pin. Bill's with Pen. He's yeah. taking care of Pen. I don't yeah. think you guys want Bill up here. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, except just the extra. <laughs> There's no neck, you know. Hands. There's no neck to throw at. <laughs> That's what true. are we gonna do here? That's He's true. gonna throw his knife <laughs> once, and it's yeah. gonna disappear <laughs> in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You uh, took his only weapon that could even help him. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Tilius, what are we doing? <sighs> Where is the second tentacle? Uh, like, is it behind me, up in the crow's nest? Like, is it? Yeah, I would say it kind of fell down kind of right behind that crow's nest and mast. Okay. And now it's sort of sliding off the boat, sort of withdrawing. Okay. With a bunch of bolts in it. Uh, all right, I want to turn my attention to the to the tentacle that's trying to pull the ship down. I want to I want to leap off of the crow's nest. Un, un, take off the harness. I leap off the crow's nest down onto the tentacle, bounce off, backflip in the air, and release Eldritch Blast. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Bro, I think. Are you thinking that twenty is going to carry you through? That twenty, hey, let's, let's, that twenty made him haughty. Uh, I'm just okay. saying. Let me make sure our Dude, expectations been yeah. Let's do Let me it. make sure our med- yeah. our expectations match here. Right. Uh, what you're doing is jumping off of the crow's nest, which yes. is like yeah. let's call it thirty feet in the air. Yeah, yeah. Well, coming down like Batman on this we're thing. Currently just like... harnessed down. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be great or just Jim Wink, oh, yeah, yeah, Dragonborn yeah. Warlock Jim just Wink. leaping off the crow's nest. Not that can help in this scenario. Well, I mean, not to like fly fly, but not like slow him down like like Batman. Yeah, maybe slow down, like, slow down like, a little bit. Yeah, kind of like the wings under Spider-Man. Like it was kind of like a yeah. glider kind of thing. It's I'll like, allow it. You fucking has wings. <laughs> of course you're going to use them if I'll you're jumping it. 30 feet down. <laughs> um, and then you want to land on the tentacle. Like, use it as, like, a, bounce as a off child's of trampoline. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Do a backflip <laughs> yeah. and then Eldritch Blast it. Yes. And that last point, just so I'm clear, that's just for style points. You're not trying to accomplish anything with the backflip. <sighs> no, no, no. Style no, points. No. Got yes. it. <laughs> Like he uh, wants to really impress all those guys that shot yeah. crossbow. Bullets. Look, I get it. Yeah. Atelius is feeling great. <laughs> yeah. He's feeling great. He's been he meditating. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I, I bet it, maybe opium. I snuck some opium before the battle. Yeah. We don't know. Okay. 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 I was going to say he knows. hasn't been on an opium binge for four days, but also maybe yeah. he's high as a kite right now. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Okay, let's start with an acrobatics check. <laughs> okay, and I'll tell you, boy, this one needs to be on point. Chuck. Yeah. yeah okay, come on. Dude. Big money, big money, no whammies. Ooh. It's not a- 
17. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's minus see. two, so 15. <laughs> <laughs> minus two. <laughs> <laughs> the this is how you're trying to do backflips. Minus two. Minus two. <laughs> minus two. Yeah, minus two might have been a little Didn't realize my acrobatics were minus I like that you went balls to the wall on this, Chuck. Hey, man, go big or go home. Yeah. I, well, you might have to. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I guess you know. 15's a good roll. <laughs> go big or go yeah. to the hospital. You yeah. know what I mean? 17. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe I slip yeah, I, I off of it when I go to jump. Okay, so... With a 15, given given the difficulty of this particular maneuver, um, you dive off, swan dive, your wings slow you a little bit, you land, and you like bend down to do uh, to accomplish a backflip, and when you spring back up, the slipperiness of this tentacle, just your feet just l- scoop out from under Fair you. Fair enough. <laughs> and you just land on your back. <laughs> and, and, and the the tentacle sort of moved at the last minute. It just kind of threw your game off. So you find yourself kind of grabbing onto the top of it, ha- hanging on. So now if you would like the Elders Blast, you can just do that a little further away than okay, right yes. you. Okay, All right. Okay, roll to attack. Here we go. Yeah. Well, what was it? Six. What's plus? Plus, what you yeah. plus five. Plus, plus five, five, yeah. Seven. Which is an 11. Mm. You miss. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think just... The way the tentacle's moving, you you sort of point it to your left further down the tentacle, and then it moves the last minute, and you fire it off in the air. Yeah. Mm. I had good intentions, people. Yeah, oh, it was a great <laughs> ball. If Tim, if, 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 um, if he, like, whole, if he puts the vampire dagger in my hand and swings my limp hand... Had the monster? Do I get those health points back? Maybe <laughs> 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 I mean, just like weekend at Bernie's. We were already talking about earlier. He's just like this, like little yeah weekend at Bernie's oh, thing. Oh, vampire! Bat. I think that's that you a, should try it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I, I don't know. Oh, I that's encourage a great, you to try it. This is a great idea. I'll figure it out when I get there. I guess it wasn't. It, I like that you're asking me as if this is something I've already contemplated. Like I have no idea, man. Maybe we'll figure that out when we get there. Jeez! Holy hell! Genius. Um. Okay, Kestrel. Okay, so explain to me what the tentacles look like again now. Um, so the one that's like currently slithering off of you okay. is riddled with crossbow bolts, and it's sort of large, uh, kind of dark reddish. Think of like an octopus tentacle. Mm. Lots of little suction cups all over it that mm. you can hear kind of popping off of the wood. Mm. Um, as far as like their width i didn't want to use the word girth like um as far as their width think like six feet wide okay yeah um position uh meaning what exactly so like how many tentacles are around the ship or like flailing around the ship um you guys can see eight or nine okay are any of them close together the sense where this is going uh let's say yeah yeah sure there's Okay. Sure. How many? I want to find out where this is going. So, yeah. I feel like she baits me on these. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, but it's how, a yes many, and environment. So. Um, <laughs> let's say there's there's two different sets where you, you could find a pair that's very close together. Okay. Um, so, I run up to the set that's closest to me. And um, I elongate my immovable rod. And I slam it on top of the pair. To lock them in place, so they're not Ooh. flailing anywhere. I think this Whoa. might be the first time Whoa. we've used the immovable rod to be immovable. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 gymnastics I'm, move. I'm, I'm doing yeah. gymnastics move. Uh, <laughs> you used the elongate thing a bunch. You yeah. haven't used no. the elongate thing is my favorite thing. Well, sure. It's Whoa, literally gorgeous. pinning it down. Yeah, I'm pinning yeah. it down. Rod. Do you like that? It's cool. cool. Um, okay, let's let's maybe roll slight of hand at advantage. I'm not Ooh. sure exactly what this should require. Okay. But let's go slide of hand at advantage. All right. Twelve and fourteen, uh, and plus slide of hand, so sixteen and fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So you guys watch as um, it sort of looks like Kestrel has lost her damn mind because she gets up, sprints sort of sideways on this ship while like leaning heavily one way so she can keep her feet, and dives off of the boat. As she dives, she sort of puts this this immovable rod out in front of her and it starts to 
lengthen. No. And then she lands between two of these tentacles that are kind of curling. And you see her like pull down. And as it sort of pulls into the flesh, she hits the button, it locks. And now those tentacles are just kind of stuck where they're at. Mm. So, so is Kessel. So is Kessel. Just hanging. <laughs> so yeah. is Kessel. Just hanging there. Well, you've handled two tentacles, which is <laughs> something. Well, so where, where am I exactly? Off the side of the boat. Okay. Good. Hanging Good. from a rod. <laughs> so as my bonus action, I want to jump into the water. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Just let go of the rod. Yeah. Done. Yeah. yeah. Done. You're swimming. Mm. Boy, this feels... Uh, I feel like I'm missing something, but go ahead. Uh, I hope somebody so makes some, uh, some fan art of Kestrel and the Two Tentacles. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to my yes. uh, Deviant Art page. That's yes. Right. <laughs> All right, listener. Fan Please. art time. Oh, God. Don't... We do need to start getting uh, our listeners to create some fan art for us. I mean, if there's <laughs> so not any, anybody out if there, there's not any great. night shift rule thirty four, then we don't actually exist yet. That's how that's oh. how you get that, that's how you get uh, approved into real internet existence. All right, make that's, it happen. That's people. enough tentacular talk. <laughs> tentacular, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> All right, mate, where is uh, Tom Bombo sliding down uh, the the deck of the ship? So everyone else was in a controlled slide, sort of on their back. Yeah. He's just in the over end. You see his head kind of banging. I'm like s- like my nose is just but like he's, fucking he's mad. He would be coming towards <laughs> like me, blooded. right? That's correct. Because I'm, on, I'm on the lower tentacle. Yes. So he's coming towards me. Yes. At a rapid pace. At a rapid clip, yeah. Like, uh, luckily for you, it's pretty light. Like on this anything. turn, <laughs> can I get where I can I get where I need to be to like catch him? Yeah, let's say so. All right, so I uh, I I, I sheathe my sword, I position myself based on where where he's uh, coming down the plinko board of the deck of the, <laughs> the ship, uh, and, and uh, I, I ready myself. <laughs> To catch him, yeah, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> knocking off a crate here, a mass there, he gets caught in a rope here. But my my intent is to is to catch him, and then, with him safely in my arms, we'll we'll determine that. But go ahead. Yeah, you cradle him like well, a babe. Well, I need to know if I have him in my in my arms okay. before I do the next. I do thing. want to say at this exact moment, Pin opens the door and looks down, the back of the ship, and sees you bouncing. And that is the first time that Pin understands what Pin Industries is going to do. They're going to make something called a pinball machine. Inspiration dice. Or a pinspiration dice. We'll talk it's, about. It's worthless. You can't even do anything worthless. <laughs> we'll talk about the legalities <laughs> of like patents and everything later, because you know, obviously, played a huge role in the creation of this idea. Mm-hmm. So we'll just we'll get there when we get there. Mm-hmm. And now a word from our sponsors. Who wants to go think, play its little wars? Well, oh, I fucked up. Yeah. We're, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think we're doing it out of character this time. Yeah, that's, oh, uh, that's why I fucked up. Who wants to? I fucked up. So this past holiday season, you guys, where did you get a lot of your gifts? Uh, well. Little Wars. It's actually where I got this sweet D and D sleeve thing here. I did notice that your character sheets are in yeah, there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Finally, if only I remember my spell cards. Mm. You can also buy a Little Wars. Yeah, my brother is actually really big into random tabletop games, and yeah. I found a couple new ones from him. Like, uh, what is it? The Betrayal at Baldur's Gate. Oh, was there, ooh, that's a good game. Which sounds really fun to so play. It's in the D and D universe. It technically. is in the D and D universe. The only uh, it takes a little while to set up, but boy, is it worth it. Really, it's a good payoff. And then a couple of my other friends are really into painting those miniatures. So I got them like a couple gift cards to like go and get some. That's cool. We should get some miniatures for us and we can have them on the table. Like it's a great idea. (laughs) I bought a Blood Bowl season two uh, booklet because Blood Bowl's incredible. And actually Little Wars has like probably uh, legitimately one of the best Blood Bowl communities in the entire country. If that sounds like something you'd be into. They have like 32 person leagues. That wow. you can go play and super super fun. In it's like general, they have like fantasy football. It is right? fantasy football where the fantasy is you know your goblins and orcs and dwarves. Being very very tactical, the most rage inducing game I've ever played uh, in my entire life. 
Well, in but, uh, general, yeah, uh, Little Wars has an amazing community. Like, yeah, not not just Blood Bowl. I mean, the staff there is also super helpful. Whenever you walk in, just like, hey, can we help you find a game? Like, what are you looking for? Yeah. So they're they're really great. Easy to kind of dive into exactly what what you might be interested in. It's not clicky like a lot no, of those stores sure. are. And if you haven't been to Little Wars in a few years, like before Van and them took it over, it had a little bit of that, and Van just completely turned it around. He really did. It was It's, it's such a welcoming atmosphere. It's not like a com- You know, sometimes you walk in and you just feel like an outsider. Not the case at Little Wars, one of Baton Rouge's hidden gems. Yeah, right off of Jefferson Highway in Baton Rouge. Find them on Instagram at Little Wars BR. They've got a Facebook page as well. Make sure you're uh, checking them out. Thanks to Little Wars for being a sponsor of the Night Shift. Woo! Thanks, Little Wars. Love you. Welcome to the Iron House Kickball Tournament. Uh, up next, we have the Night Shift, perennial losers. Uh, but, you know, their legs have gotten stronger, their hearts have grown three times the size, and they appear to be getting dropped. Okay. Well, uh, let's take a little break, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be back in five. Oh, yeah, my leg is feeling a little stronger since the last time we leveled up, even though it's been a little while. Wow. Uh, wow. Hey, Bill, great job out there, man. Yes. You really, uh, I, well, I know you didn't get on base today, but your effort was astounding. Great job, Bill. People kept um, telling me that I was, I was, uh, I was never going to get to third base, and I, I, um, I, I, well, I didn't. No, you didn't. But no, that's no. okay. But you, it was the effort. It was How the effort. How did you miss that ball? I kicked it right to you, man. Well, I mean, right to you. I might as well use you as the ball next wow. time. To be fair, I'm about the size of the ball, and you kicked it. It was right to well, my I head. I couldn't have Next mean, time you climb up on Matilius' shoulders. Just, Is just, that legal? Can we look in the room? Well, I don't see sure. why not. Just pour me a drink, okay? Oh, yeah. Whatever. What is uh, well, I'm so angry right now. My good friends over at Rally Cap oh, took yeah. the liberty of brewing us a beer named after something that we'll never truly understand. What <laughs> is this? Oh. And that is Victory Formation. Oh. And there's assessment to be some sort of runic symbols of uh, some sort from these cans. Well, <laughs> yes. Uh, the good uh, news is a hazy IPA, 8% alcohol by oh. volume. Victory Formation is very tasty. Even though we'll never really understand what it's like. Hey, it's on only the fifteen field. to zero. Okay, y'all, let's keep the faith. We still have a chance. <laughs> it is a, for sure. It's a perfect sports brew. Mm. Mm. Yes, okay. yes, it, it quenches the thirst. Mm. I, I reckon when I uh, crank out my dingers, I can uh, just trot around the base path and uh, watch it with the dingers. Mm. This is a family sport. We don't want to offend you, yeah, dude. I fucking love American football. I get it now. It's kind of sick. <laughs> It's like Odin, I can read the runes. It's football, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is actually a great can. <laughs> Something happened to Tom Bumbo over there, right? Wow, yeah. <laughs> Thank you to Rally Cap. It's a delicious beer. Quite yeah, a good paleo. Yes. Pelican Craft Brands distributes this throughout uh, the greater Louisiana area. Always a, a fan of bringing delicious craft beer to the people. Yeah, yes. I detect notes of citrus. It's Whoa. quite delicious. Your palate. Very astute over there. Mm. Yeah. Cicero. Thank you. I if only tried. she worked on her <laughs> kickball skills like she's Ooh. been uh, working on her beer that drinking. That was Tom's fault. He mm. missed the ball. No, I he oh, okay. missed the ball. I don't think you know how the game works. Why would you be kicking it to me anyway? <laughs> the smallest man on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rally Cap. <laughs> All right, get your asses back on the field. Let's finish this ass woman. <laughs> Huzzah! All right. Fine. Um... Athletics check is what you're going for. Love you're that. Be like diving and catching something that's. Heavy. Yeah, that's good because I'm raging and I uh, get an advantage on. Well, that's on strength check. So athletics is a little bit. Athletics different. is a strength based check, so you're good. Okay, so that I even if it doesn't get an advantage on. Yeah, I think it's supposed to apply to like saving throws, but in this case, I think it makes a ton of sense. <laughs> I could be wrong there. It could be any skill check. Uh, Either way, I'm you gain advantage you. on strength checks and saving throws. Oh, you're good then. Yeah, so, it applies. All right. Dude, T-Bob, I was giving it to him either way, pal. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I'm feeling a little salty. Uh, it's very aggressive right there with that move. All right, so 22. 22 will do it, yeah. I think you um, you sort of run along this, this tentacle leap, and I think it's one of those things where you sort of grab him from, from off the deck and roll and sort of tuck, him, tuck his mm-hmm. head under your arm or something to protect him. Um, you land... I think right by the railing, you can kind of grab onto the railing on the side of the ship with uh, with Tom secure under one arm. Yeah. 
Well, I don't want to be under an arm. I want him to be like cradling. Well, I've me. got so you're unconscious. You don't get a vote. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, a, I'm, yeah. I'm <laughs> now sitting on it. the deck of the ship there, uh, like, and I've got him. I've got him like like a like in like in a baby, baby born here. Okay, and, uh, I, my heads, and I my heads against his chest. Oh, I God. reach into my pocket and I pull out. This is the real romance story. <laughs> I pull yeah. out a jar of turtle jelly. <laughs> uh, you I've have had, a jar of turtle jelly. I've had it the whole time. Oh wow. You fucking son of a bitch! Wow. It's, right, it's right here, right here on my character sheet. One, one turtle jelly jar. You son of a bitch! Uh, I, I never crossed it out because I never used it. I, I kept it secret, kept it safe. <laughs> <laughs> and so, with about ninety-eight oh. percent of it, I pour it down his throat so he <laughs> consumes it like he's supposed to. <laughs> but, but then I take my, I take my finger. I take my finger and I rim the jar my and, God. I, and I, I wipe that right under his nose. <laughs> just Kimbo. like, just like a, 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 just like a little right like a, under his nose. Smelling salts Dude, for I almost spit water all over this expensive equipment back here. <laughs> Timbo, you, you, you saved me. I caught you, mate. Oh, I'm gonna give him a little kiss on the cheek. Or it's not my turn yet. <laughs> We got to take, my turn uh, We got to take out this Kraken. Oh, oh Timbo, thank you so much. I'm ready to fucking mm. go. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> you got your crack. Now let's defeat the Kraken. How much how much help do I get back from? 5 points. All right, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, he's wow. conscious. He's got five hit points. Wow. Ooh, ooh. He's feeling it. We're back, he's, baby. Uh, he's on a turtle jelly high. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're back, dude. I'll cross, Might do some I'll cross or out my turtle jelly jar. Damn, I can't believe you've been holding out me this he entire said, keep time. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Saved it. <laughs> Save it for the exact right God. time. All right. Kraken's turn. Ugh. Um, <laughs> let's see. I think what we'll do is... Uh, it. Uh, one of these tentacles swipes sort of horizontally along that top deck. And it wraps up like four of the pirates. <laughs> Tentacle. And then hurls them 60 feet into the yes. water. Yes. So just <laughs> grabs them in like a big sweeping motion and then flings them the other direction. So long, pirates. Pretty metal, dude. <laughs> wow. Um, and then it is going to, uh, you see its head come out of the water for the first time. And it's, uh, I would say... Closest to Tom and Timbo, uh, the, the stern of the ship. Um, behind that tentacle, probably another 30 feet. It's horned head sort of rises out of the ocean. It's got horns on top, horns sort of facing the bottom of its cheeks. Um, very hard looking creature, like uh, armored face, rises out of the water. And then the clouds above you start to darken and turn gray and then black uh, what? <laughs> and then Jeez. lightning starts raining from the sky oh god what, the what? Fuck? what are we are we supposed to run everyone make dexterity saving throws oh, oh. man <laughs> I'm envisioning that Kraken from clash of the titans the good one not the uh, oh man the good one is so Like the original claymation one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Harry Halsen. What are we rolling for? What is this for? Dexterity, Dexterity. saving. <laughs> and Maggie Smith. I mean, Ugh. of course, Turtle Jellied Up, that's a 23. <laughs> Feeling nice. fucking good, dude. It's a modified He's 7 quick. for He's me. quick on his feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> modified 7 for me. Modified 7. Same. Oh. Wow. Ouch. 14. <laughs> 14 will do it. Um... All right, for my modified seven peeps. Well, Lindsay's in the I'm water. In the I don't water. know if that changes. Oh, anything. you're in the water. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so. Hmm. Water can still get tr struck by electricity. That's what I'm trying to think through. Think it's it's like the awful for electricity. No. But is the ocean? How's it work in the ocean? Like, what's the distance on how far water electricity gets? Yeah, especially salt water. I'm not. I'm not sure. Um. Hmm. Let's say that you're exempt. That nothing strikes the water near you because I just don't feel like dealing with that. Okay. Um, Atilius. You want the bad news or the bad news? 
Should have stayed. The bad there. news. <laughs> okay, you get hit by lightning, mm -hmm. like a direct strike oh, right on you. Ow. And now you can enter the speed force. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now Super you're like the Flash in the ass. sense that one time the Flash died and you are now dead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're going to take 11 points of damage. Good Lord. All right. Yeah, dude. You're yeah. yeah. You're, Still still you're all right. You're, man. Man. you're looking rough, but you're all right. Yeah. You guys hear Lucius behind you go, oh, it's a baby. It's a baby Kraken. <laughs> We can take it, guys. It's a what? baby. <laughs> yeah, this one's small. We can take this one. Come on. What, what do we do? Uh, I don't just understand. Sh shoot its face or its arms? What yeah, do we do? no, its face or its arms. Just so, sort of like anything else. You just kill it to death. <laughs> <laughs> pretty calm about death. all of this. Oh well, it's not right. my first, you know, rodeo for a Kraken or whatever. <laughs> yes. Whatever they call rodeos that are for <laughs> sea creatures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Oh, I'm in. Let's do this. Tom Bombo. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still in until he, or I'm still in um still in my arms. Still in Timbo's arms. And so like I said, I am going to give him a little smooch in the cheek, say, Thank you, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna go fuck that kraken. <laughs> and um the kiss though is really to cast um uh heroism. So we don't know, bravery, um, the plus four HP thing. Yep. I think it might be something else. I'll read about it too. And then um, with a bonus action, I am going to uh, give him a little bardic inspiration as well. Yeah. There you go, right there. And uh, then I am going to hop down out of his arms and... Boat's still like vertical almost, right? Or, uh, I wouldn't call it vertical, but like caught a 45 degree angle, 40 slanted. degree angle. And we're at the front or the back is in the water. You're at the very back. And yep. the back okay, is what's. We're at the very cool. back. Okay, so then there's probably like, you know, like a deck, little stairs, middle part of the deck, right? So like if it were like this, trying to crest. Like those stairs. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I'm trying to explain it. Um, Tell me what you're trying to do, and we'll figure it out. I'm just trying to get to a little bit of high ground. Uh, like, because the, the middle of the ship sits lower than the than the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if it's like this, and it's been tilted like this, I'm trying to climb up here. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I think the audio listener is going to be very confused. But I yes. know. It's stairs. Uh, <laughs> stairs that are now angled at a flat plane, basically, because the boat's been. Yeah. So let's say down. probably the main way. Roll perception real quick. Won't take your action. I'm going to like, grab rope and cut one counterweight. Zoom up. You're going to roll perception real quick. Right. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> that is a... Fuck. Hey. Too many drugs. That's an eight. <laughs> an eight. All right. So no counterweight. <laughs> but you do see a series of ropes that appear to be anchored to the other side of the ship somewhere that you could use to kind of stable yourself or like almost like an opposite of a repel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then I guess I'll just start to climb up there. Okay. I think that's going to take all your movement. Yeah. Anything else you want to do? No, my bonus action was the bardic inspiration. Okay. Lucius and the pirates. Um, I think Lucius and the pirates rearm their crossbows and fire for the face of this little 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 baby kraken. Cra <laughs> uh-huh. Little baby kraken. 90% of the bolts miss. It's too ah. far out. Okay, but even if it's technically like grappled with the tentacles? Yeah, because they're shooting for its face. All right. But I but I appreciate you making the argument. It's got long tentacles. If they were shooting for the tentacle, I'd totally give it to you. They okay. shoot, they're shooting for the face. Um, so 10% so hit. Eight damage. Mm -hmm. Not a ton. No. Uh, but you see a couple little bolts sticking in its face, and it kind of snarls and shakes its head. Actilius! Let's go, haunted one. He's less haunted now. Thank you. How far, how far away is, the, is the, the face of the Kraken from the boat? About 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, I'm going to Eldritch Blast this bitch in the face. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Where are you at? You're at the back of the boat still. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah. he jumped down. He jumped down. He's like right by. He's kind of right by. Yeah, us. you're like right by them. Yeah, because yeah. you landed on your. You're like on the. Tentacle, yeah. Holding on to it. So actually, you could probably be a little closer to its face. Like as that. Because you're on that tentacle, you're probably 20, 25 feet away. Okay. Um, okay. Roll to hit. Going with the pink okay. one. Mm, nice. Pink die. Pink die. Don't <laughs> Did bother not work. me. Fuck. That would be a three. Three uh, plus on, five is yeah. eight. Mm-hmm. Yep. Math. Math. Um, <sighs> yeah. Uh, once again, <laughs> Sets the ship on fire. Ready, yeah. <laughs> ready, <laughs> steady, and then the tentacle moves, and you fire off into the air, and all you hear is Lucius go, eh, that guy can't aim at all. Come on, man. <laughs> Fair Damn. enough. Jesus. <laughs> Getting roasted. Yeah. Um. All right. Kestrel, what the hell are you doing? Wait, is spell attack bonus spell cast modifier? Uh, or is that yeah, different? Yeah, yeah. It is. Well, I, I'm just, I'm wondering. So heroism's actually he gets HP plus my spell cast, like whatever my spell cast modifier is. Yes. Well, so like your modifier is four, your spell attack is six. So oh, okay, no, okay, different. never mind. So it is four. Okay, never mind. Okay. Sorry. All right, Gastro, what are we what are we doing here? Because I'm I've been curious for a whole turn now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I'm I'm swimming below the ship. Mm-hmm. Um. And can you tell me what I see below the ship? Because I'm assuming, is it like a giant octopus where all of its tentacles are kind of wrapped around the ship and flailing? Or Make like... a perception check. This won't be your action. Okay. Remember, I have dark vision and the sea is dark. If you ever tell me that again, I'm going to throw something. <laughs> <laughs> I look at your sheet you know way more than you yeah. do. By the way, did you know she had dark vision? 19. <laughs> 19. Plus, all right. Plus two. Oh. All right. Let's go. Plus two, or some strong ass dark vision. Strong ass dark vision, right there. Yeah. All right, she's very um, perceptive. Yeah, I think you can determine a few things. One, there are ten tentacles on this thing. Mm. Okay. Ten. Okay. Um, tentacles. The, the body, <laughs> if you will, of this creature is sort of underneath the ship. Right. All, not really like pressed up against it. There, there's a little bit of space between the bottom bottom of the ship and it, but that's kind of how it's aligned. And then its head is um, thirty feet behind it. So think of it almost like. Um, it's like spooning the ship from beneath, but backwards. Mm-hmm. Like head facing the back of the ship, not the front of the ship. Um, yeah. Okay. What else did you want to know? Um, what else were you trying to figure out, rather? Well, can I use animal handling to somehow figure out a weak point? Huh. That's a good question. Let's see how that roll goes. Roll animal handling. Okay. Let's find out. <laughs> 16. Ooh. 16. Nice. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, let's say... Is it a male or a female Kraken? Boy, if you'd rolled a 17, I'd have given it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. She's under of, the boat. Yeah. I know, all that talk of troll yes, dicks back in the day. Now we <laughs> yeah. can answer a question about Kraken <laughs> dicks if we wanted to. Okay, so I think what I'll give you is... Given the way this creature has oriented itself, it was perfectly fine sticking its tentacles out of the water and wrapping them on top of the ship where they'd be shot. Perfectly fine sticking its head out of the water and, and looking at what it's doing. However, its sort of belly is underneath the ship in the hardest to reach spot. So I think from that, you can more or less surmise that is its weakest point. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um... I want to swim as close as I can to the belly. Mm-hmm. And, I think you can get all the way there. And stab it with the dagger of the axe. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> <laughs> yep, roll. All right. Um, and I think dagger of the axe is plus two hit, maybe? Uh, is it on your sheet? It was on my old sheet, Ooh. I believe. Oh, uh, yeah, and then we had it not on your sheet for a little while. Um, go ahead and roll. I'm assuming it's a piercing thing, and that's a, a dagger. Uh, if you have a plus four, so okay. it's probably that. Maybe that. Yeah, your your dagger's two death four plus four. Seventeen. 
<laughs> plus a four. Plus four. Wow. wow. So what's crazy is its AC is almost that. Yeah, yeah but it ain't a 21 bit. It ain't a 21. So it hits. Yes. And you're going to do yes. two die four plus four damage. Mm. Okay. Two die four. Mm-hmm. Plus four. Yeah. Yep. Four, Ooh. two, six. Let's go. Ten. Ten, Ten points of damage. Yep. Um, we're going to double that because it's the soft underbelly. And, and you can really, like, feel it. Like, when you were on the tentacle, it felt armored. When you land on this thing, it's like a – boy, I hate these for, this word. It's, like, soft Squishy? and fleshy. Yeah, like, yeah. it's, like, soft and fleshy. You, mm. you stab, and then, like, just because of the way you're sort of floating in the water and the way it's moving, it almost, like, drags a full foot Ugh. very easily. Um, That's right. It's like cutting soft through underbelly. Yeah. Mm. That's um, me. So we're going to double that damage. <laughs> it is now considered poisoned. Ooh. And it will make a check based on that. Um, when you Start pull the knife up. out, this like, especially underwater, you can tell viscous black uh, ichor just starts pouring out mm. of this wound. Yeah. And <laughs> as you're watching it, underneath its skin, underneath its like flesh, uh, that same black material kind of starts creeping outward from the wound. Do I need to swim away? Uh, I wouldn't inhale it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, like, that probably wouldn't be good for you. But what if you did? <laughs> I thought he was going to say, like, <laughs> coming. <laughs> Talk about it, like, snort it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, in the, as, as the wound opens, little baby crack and start coming out of this oh, thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what an alien nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that was Kestrel. Yeah, it's probably my turn. Timbo. It was a good turn. Thank you. It was a good turn. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed, mate. I would like a crack at the Kraken. Yes. I uh, reckon the best thing to do is uh, just attack. Do some damage. I can't. There's no way for me to really reach the head. It's coming out of the water, but like, no. there's not a bridge to it, right? There's, say there's one no way. way. There's one way. Mm -hmm. You're holding a teleporting sword. Correct. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, there's not like a bridge to it. You couldn't jump to it. If you jumped, you'd have to swim. And yeah. You're covered in you're um, a heavy sword. So. From when I uh, made really good purchase on slashing uh, with a tentacle with my sword earlier, did it did it feel like I could actually cut through a tentacle? Like all the way through? Is mm -hmm. that the goal? Um, like with, a, with a, some a effort. tentacle that is just sitting there wrapped around the boat, or I mean, maybe not just sitting there, but like yeah, that with, is with some effort and a, and a good roll. I think you could get enough through it to accomplish the goal. Essentially, um, you already did kind of land in one spot and and turn it a little bit. So I would say you're probably already one third of the way through that particular tentacle in that particular spot. Yep. So that's what I, I want to do. I want to go back to that spot. I had, okay. had kind of turned my attention away from there to catch Tom Bombo, but I want to go back to that spot that I had worked on before and uh, and just go at it with a double-handed attack with Mistweaver uh, in that same spot with the intent to really like take out that tentacle. Let's roll an athletics at advantage. And I think you have some benefits from what oh, heroism and from rage. Let's go. Uh, Certainly from rage. Uh, uh, yeah. Go. Well, so I'm already. I would already be rolling an, an athletics check at advantage because right. I'm raging. Timbo. So does that mean I get to? Fuck you. Is it triple advantage? See, Bob. Does heroism give him any plus to strength checks or anything no. like that? Okay. Uh, so that would be a fifteen. Fifteen. Nine plus six. Yeah. All right. Roll to hit. And I'll let you know how this goes. And um, yeah, just rolling one there. Ooh, seventeen plus six on the mist weaver, so twenty-three. Good lord! All right, so here's the way we're gonna do this. Count them. Um, I think you sort of wait until this, like the boat is sort of rocking, especially the back of it. And you sort of wait until it's coming up, and you just take a step and then leap. Feels like the easiest way to close the distance. And when you land, you land in the wound. 
like feet first <laughs> in the wound. You're like up to your ribs in tentacle. Ugh. And then just push down with the sword and start whittling it. Yeah. Um, within 10 seconds, you're through 90% of this thing and it's losing its mind. Like it starts letting go of those suction cups and pulling back um, pretty quickly. You're up in the air, maybe 15 feet mm. um, with the rest of the tentacle kind of hanging by some fleshy strings is the way I would think of it. Good so Lord. from, from uh, Atilius and Tom from y'all's perspective, because Kestrel's underwater, kind of what you see is at some point you look over and Tom is like standing on top of a tentacle pillar. Sorry, Timbo yeah, Timmy, yeah. is standing on top of like a tentacle pillar with a sword in his oh. hand looking <laughs> just <laughs> maddened, enraged. Fucking righteous. <laughs> Right. Fuck you, Squid! Just going no. um, let's Just go looks like calamari tonight. Let's <laughs> roll damage. Yo, hail Satan. 17. Nice. For damage? Good night. 10 plus 7. Good night. All right, 17 points oh, of damage. Oh, let's fucking go. Yeah. 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 Very Ooh. apropos for chopping off a tentacle. All right. Yeah, that, I mean, that, yeah. that was a max damage roll. It is the... Kraken's turn. It has to roll to see if it can save from being poisoned. No dice. Nice. Um, so it remains poisoned. Yes. Taking six more points of damage. Nice. So is it throwing up? Yeah, That's I think a it's great point. Vomiting. Because um, yeah, it is black, poisoned, right? Black ink. Yeah, it does not yes. have any sort of like immunity to that. So yeah, as yes. you guys, that's vomit. It's less vomit. <laughs> probably vomiting less you, ship. Kestrel. It's um, thirty feet away. So let's let's give it two or three points of advantage. So or two or three points of perspective. So Kestrel, from where you're standing, you watch this black icker just like I'm suddenly. I'm still in the water, right? Yeah. I know. Okay. Um, so you're sort of like floating right above its stomach, and okay. you watch this black icker just suddenly sort of rifle up its neck. Okay. Um, you, you're standing, uh, uh, Timbo, you're standing on top of this like tentacle pillar, sort of still stat, sword still in the tentacle, kind of riding it a little bit. Um, and it suddenly sort of stops and, and like stops, uh, trying to fling you off, I guess. And you look over at its head and it just like, it looks like it's about <laughs> to lose its lunch. You know, it just, <laughs> the neck is like pivoting forward. Um, and then Tom and Attilius, from, from y'all's perspective, what you see is uh, having just looked at Tom, you can see that Tom is, uh, Timbo, you can see that Timbo is now looking over towards its face, so naturally you follow his eye line, and this thing just, just <laughs> throws up a massive amount of black poisonous toxin into the water. Um, all of these tentacles start falling into the water the one that's across the boat starts, you know, finishes sliding back into the water. Uh, and you can see this thing duck its head back on. Kestrel, from your vantage point, it, it, like, starts to turn. And you can see, like, its back legs, tentacles start swimming. And it, it's clearly trying to, like, get away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's running. Hey, uh, Lucius. Looks more like a baby yakking to me. <laughs> oh, well done, Castro. Uh, I think we can consider that out of uh, initiative order unless someone wants to do something. Uh, no, well, I just like take a bow while on top of the pillar uh, that I'm on, and then uh, and then just kind of casually like step off and back on yeah. onto the it's, onto it's the a stern. Jack Sparrow thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Water, That's exactly just, what I just yeah, yes. onto the stern of the boat as yeah. like the as boat. the as the boat is lifting back up because it's getting off of the boat. I want to yeah. walk up and be like, that was yeah, and then I'm just like righteous. <laughs> Uh, and then I say, all, all right, Lucius, I'll take that uh, bag now. <laughs> oh, my, uh... He slings. <laughs> He's like, you didn't want to, like, check on your friend or anything? She went to water. <laughs> uh, she's fine. Uh, she's she's fine. good. She's, 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 fish, right? she's like crawling <laughs> over the side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Man. I'm good. Fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, you know, we did most of it for you, but I suppose <laughs> I'll grab the bag for you. Oh, did you? Well, yeah. I mean, do all you even the crossbow... know what I did down there? Swim, I suppose. Did you go for a dip? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that vomit that happened? That was all me. No, oh, that, no, yeah, that no, was, no. That, was, that was, it was It was sick of getting shot is what it was. 
<laughs> Would you like to see what this dagger does, sir? He, he looks at it and it's dripping black and he's like, oh. Well, yeah, maybe you did some of it then. Maybe it was look, team effort. It was maybe, probably a joint so. effort, if I had to guess. <laughs> Lucius, I'm going to go get that bag for you. You guys, you guys did great. Thanks. Great yeah. job. I mean, no, yes, well done. You lost true. a lot of them, though. But silly is, though, you did not do that great of a job. No. <laughs> I was having honest. a bad go of it. <laughs> right. Did you get something in your well, eye or something? Because you could not hit the wrong well, side uh, of a bond. I don't nah. know what you've been meditating on uh, these last four well, days at sea, but... He's just been feeling more peaceful. He didn't want to do no damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, opium is not good for dragon boys. It'll yeah. get you every time. <laughs> yeah. He turns around to the, the other pirates and he's like, what do you want, like applause? Get back to fucking work. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes and grabs your bag, brings it back to you. Oh. Heck yeah. Should we check on Pin and Bill? See if they're okay. Yeah. <laughs> you make your way down there and Pin is just hurling. I mean, his whole, he's, he's dry heaving at this point. He's already thrown everything up. And Bill is attentive. He's got like a rag on his head and Pin could not be less interested in being attended to by Bill. Pin, are you okay? All part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, thankfully, Bill was here to take care of you. I uh, kind of saved the day in case you guys didn't notice. <laughs> yes. you know, you're uh, welcome. <laughs> Pin, Pin was informing me that, um, that we actually helped a great deal. I'm a little unsure of how, but he said it very confidently. <laughs> We're not as flashy, but we get the job done, so, you know. <laughs> You're welcome. Guys, I have a um, 401k at Pindustries now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been employed. I don't get anything else. There's, no match. There's, There's no, no match. There's no match. No match. I have There's access no to a 401k, which I'm not sure exactly what that you is. You give me the money. I put it into the 401k. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Great. Just happy to, happy to be here. I, um, we should probably Kestrel talk to Kestrel kicks her. everybody out so she can change out of her wet clothes. We'll probably talk to Bill about that later. <laughs> um... I go okay, find yeah, some rum. I'm gonna go up top decks. Yeah, I'll have top, a drink. Top, I'm feeling good. I want to. I want to find the rum. Drink you did a hell of a job on the, back on the there, top man. deck. You did a hell of a job. Thanks for shaving I, me, man. I, no problem. But uh, that was the last of the turtle jelly. <sighs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I think I learned a valuable lesson today. I should probably, probably should just relax on a little bit, just on some of the drugs. I think, I think I'm, well, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to do it. Once we get cut to, back on the opium, land, maybe. I mean, we should uh, maybe celebrate a little bit tonight. More opium. Yes, okay, maybe a little bit of opium tonight. No, 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 no you cut back. You cut back. This well, is mainly, our last night at sea, yes. and we just defeated a kraken. Well, uh, mainly a little drink, bit tonight. But that's right. We should celebrate with a little yeah. bit. Just a little bit. All right, cool. All right, that sounds good But to me. after that. Rum, <laughs> Kestrel, you did well. You did really well also. You should do Oh, you look great. You just changed. Thank you. If you do opium again, yes, I'm going to break your loot. Oh no! Wow. All right, uh, uh, rum. Okay, Lucius, fine, fine. Only Lucius, rum. your finest barrel of rum, please. Yes. Lucius, like good news and sort of bad news. Uh, <laughs> the best crate of rum is the only crate of rum. So that's fine news. That's, All right, that's, that's, here that's we fine. go. <laughs> Great. It's cracking it up for everybody. He comes back with a barrel that's like this big, like it's like a foot tall. Oh, it is. That's fine. Yeah, well, rum have, for do, everybody. Do we have anything else to drink here? I sort of specialize in opium. Is sort of my deal. Not well, a big, uh, not a big cut alcohol. Off. We're cut fella. off on the opium. Yeah. No uh, more opium for, for the... you after tonight. Understood. After tonight. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's right. Just That's... one more bump. I got it. <laughs> Get out. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. But leave, leave the rum. Leave the rum. <laughs> I do. I, I appreciate all the work you did. I, you know, you saved the ship and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know, Kestrel, I, I know you. You actually probably did a bunch of stuff under the. You probably weren't just taking a dip. Just wanted to. You know, right that wrong and commend you on your uh, impressive swimming abilities or whatever. So good job, good job. Whatever. Thank you, Lucius. <laughs> you I taught her that. I taught her that. <laughs> <laughs> she kicks him. <laughs> she kicks him. <laughs> Really hard. <laughs> it's right, it's right in his hamstring. <laughs> yeah, still right in hamstring. Yeah, I'm Kicks still him in hurting too, dude. Oh. <laughs> and I think I'm... Guys, I think I'm going through a bit of withdrawal as well. I feel awful. <laughs> what? No way. Not from opium. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I feel awful uh, it's, right uh, now. It's actually the turtle jelly. Lucius, don't yeah. get, uh, <laughs> Mixing that together with the opium was probably not a He's just coming down choice. from the turtle jelly. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay. So we just have a great night just drinking and partying together. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That that is exactly what happens. You have a great yeah. night, just uh, a little rabble rousing. On yeah, just the, kind of rabble rousing, drinking the rest of the rum. Uh, at the end of the night, I, Kestrel probably can't help herself. She asks, "Why is the rum gone?" You know. No. Um, yeah. But other than that, 
passes without incident. I get three sheets to the wind. No. Oh, oh bro, come on. Mm-hmm. You need to die. Do you have an inspiration die? No, no, I used it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. three sheets to the wind mm-hmm. is a good fucking nautical drunk term. Yes. Thank you. Yes, let's go. That was a bad throw. Oh. My bad. Work. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, and then the next morning with – Probably a headache and some light sensitivity. You wake up. Some light oh. sensitivity. Last okay. night's celebration was maybe a little bit too much. Uh, how uh, lean over and puke off my. How bunk much bed. more time do we have at sea, Captain? Lucius sits up from a hammock in the room. Hey, hey uh, Lucius, you slept in here last night. Whoa. Yeah, you said it was cool. Well, yeah. you did not say it wasn't cool, so I just stayed here. But who's sleeping in the, in the captain's list. quarters? <laughs> yeah, catch her the yeah, I guess it's it. yeah, she, uh, the swimmy one, she kicked the me out. The swimmy one? Really cool. Yeah, she's pretty intimidating. I'm yeah, she, she can be uh, Look, a lot. she is very tall. Very and, tall. Uh, and, and, and the hair with the colorization and the, you know, and the looks and the, you know, just the whole package, Lucius, honestly. Lucius, do you have a crush? Do you have a crush on her? Lucius is has a crush you? on anything that moves. Let's be clear. Okay. I'll wow. fuck you or right anything now. that swims. <laughs> <laughs> With Easy. everybody in the room watching, okay? Lucy's this isn't like, but yeah, oh my yeah, God. yeah, sure. You're not so anyway, <sighs> here's the deal. We're, we're, we should see land, uh, you know, in the next hour or so. Hey. I would think. Uh, so you, your, your time here is pretty much done, which is good, because I, uh, I think Tom's probably lived a whole lifetime in the last four days. <laughs> <laughs> um, he I'm going to have to ask he one of you <laughs> to go remove uh, the swimmy lady from my room, because I'm scared. <laughs> To do it, frankly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I'll start preparing you for for, for land. I guess uh, we're gonna land in the. Cor- do you know anything about the Corleon Isles? You, you guys been here before? You're gonna need to tell us first a little time. Bit. Okay, Corleon yeah. Isles. I say, but yes. but I have mean, I do have and, this coin, and I, uh, I I show them the coin that I have from the it. Isles. Bites it. Yeah, that's real. It's it's old though. It's outdated. They don't use this no more. Okay. Yeah, he hands it back to you. He's like, that's not you know they'll take it or whatever, but it's yeah. like. That's that's old. That's probably fifty years old, man. Mm. Um, Corleone Isles is so like it, it's just currency. It doesn't mean anything else. Ah, uh, it... not to me. Where did okay. you get that coin from? It's Lady Dallas. Yeah, Lady mm-hmm. Taros had it on her bo- on her purse. No, that was yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. It has yeah. 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 scratched thing. into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Corleone Isles. It's like it's like a hundred islands out here. All right, lots of lots of tiny ones. You know, a couple couple larger ones. Uh, but there's lots of lots of super wealthy people who have their own island. With their own big fucking house on it, which I love, because we can go and raid it on our boat and then uh, sell opium in the city. So this is like paradise, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you said you was looking for somebody, yeah? Mm-hmm. We are. Uh, I mean, we're uh, kind of looking for. Uh, well, we're. Davik. Look- his name is Davik. Oh, God. Oh, well, huh? Ah, his name's on the coin. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, is he like super rich or something? Yeah, He's super evil. He's probably got a probably got a house somewhere yeah. in one of these islands. No doubt. And if you find the house, you'll probably find the guy. You know, it's just I'm just I'm not an <laughs> investigator, as they say, but uh, that's what I would do. That's a, that's and yes, how, we coined how, how, uh, that phrase. Thank you. I know. I you told me about 14 times last night, friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, well, I'm, I'm real tired real. of that story, uh, but uh, <laughs> whew, Bill was there. Where, uh, where's uh, Bill? Did not drink or do drugs all night. <laughs> he no, only fed you water. No, but he enjoyed it, and he was there for the investigators. Is there um, any list of um or any role of uh, uh people? Where, 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 where? Uh, uh, you, uh, you know what? We have the receipt. Uh, the, we have the receipt for where uh, oh, yes, all his stuff I, got shipped. Yes, the one I found. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give it here. Give it here. Yeah. Let me, let me yeah. take a look. Uh, I, I'll give him, I'll give where's him, it, where's the, it say? I'll all the stuff went. Yeah. Lucius takes a look at it. Oh my God! This is uh... boy. I think I did this. If I'm being honest with you. What? Yeah, what? no, I did this. This is my receipt. Like it's not Where my did handwriting. Where you take his shit I got, to? I got chicken scratch handwriting, you know. So it's not mine. It's my first mate. But um, yeah, no, we did this for sure. He's yeah. He's kind of an asshole, right? I don't. I don't think I met him. I don't oh. think I met him. Um. Where where did you did you just unload it off your ship or did you br- your men bring it somewhere? No, we would have brought it to the island for sure. Yeah, I know where it's. I, I think I know where it's. At. Let me talk to the first mate. I'll come back and we'll see. Maybe we could just go right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. Yes, makes sense. He goes. I'm assuming you guys kind of gather your things mm-hmm. and yes. Um, Jimbo, don't forget that bag. Yeah, I got I got the bag. Yeah, the I bag. got all my stuff in the bag. 
Bill sort of mops up all the all the throw up that's in the room. <laughs> oh, Somehow he got a mop. No one knows how. Um, and Lucius comes back. I put the like, mop in my bag. Yeah. All right. I know where we're going. Uh, and we just want to go right there. Is that the plan? Just roll up in the uh, ship. Is this a private island? Uh, or, or, or Yeah, that's sort of all other... private islands, actually. Oh. Mm. Uh. The land of a hundred isles. If they had like a tourism thing, that would be it for sure. So where do you... If I, if I did not own an island, I was just coming to stay, where would I go? There's a main island. The, the, the Corleone, Maine is, is the main island. Um, and it's got docks that are publicly available. Somebody does still own it, but... You know, you, you could just pay a fee and land there. Or we could go directly to somebody's island. Most of the islands have uh, deep water ports and stuff, so we can pull right up to them. Should we go straight to Davix or into town first? I kind of feel like straight to Davix if we have a lead on that. That's fair. Let's just get really easy coffee. Are we all fully um, uh, healed now after a night? Being... Yeah, we, we all slept, right? I mean, you slept, but after... Drinking a bunch of rum and doing some opium. So I like, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, like, didn't do the opium. full rested. You're full rested. Um... Let's just say everybody is. You, you slept yeah. late in the morning. It was we'll a, say yeah, that. Right, right. We, yeah. we, we got a You slept till like 11 a.m. I'm just asking because I was like almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, you said a lot about that before hitting well, the bottle. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All uh, right, straight to his place it is. So he, he runs up the stairs and uh, in very short order, ooh. as you guys kind of come up to the deck with all of your equipment in tow, um, when you get up there, there's this big green island with palm trees all over it um sprawled out in front of you it's large but um like you can see the edges of the island on either side so you you have a pretty good sense of like how how big it is or how small it is rather um in the middle is this fairly large estate very unlike the purple man's it's not ostentatious it's not gaudy it's more like a fortress wow um three story tall kind of kind of a solidified tower um and on its lawn stands a man, about six feet tall, in a purple cloak, waving at you. Yes. Oh, He's fucking oh, guy. No. Fucking guy. <laughs> we'll stop there. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, oh. this fucking guy. <laughs> Next time on the night shift. Palm trees sway in a strong breeze, the salty sea air sobering you almost as much as the sight of a body jumping dark wizard of untold power. <laughs> <laughs>